Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh, power loss. Oh. What's up, guys? Out here, uh, I got uh, purple power today. Um, this is going to be a, a, a test of, of, a, of a new product that Mitch from uh, M2C Racing has come out with. Uh, we're uh, coming out with shock towers. Uh, this thing, um, it's kind of hard to see it on the truck. I should have done a video with it off the truck, but I just I just had to get it on here. Uh, super beefy, uh, 7075 T6, um, and it's and it's designed where there's a lot more material right around the center area to prevent bowing. And as you can see, it's a uh, super thick, but it's also cut out, uh, you know, to to uh, cut back on weight. So um, I'm gonna be giving that a good try. Uh, I mean, it's a super nice. Uh, it, it fit right up flawless. Uh, Mitch just does killer work and just um, is getting more and more upgrades. It's, it's basically going to be a one-stop shop, you know, when, when it's all done. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, again, running the guitars on it. And also, this is going to be a test of my uh, ramp down there. <laughs> uh, the first official test uh, for testing the actual ramp itself for any weaknesses. And uh, just try to get some good uh, high-speed runs on it. So... All right, let's see what's up. All right, for anybody who didn't see the last video, or just to recap, this is my new Super Cinder ramp. Um, I haven't uh, finished it with paint and stuff yet, but again, it is just under four feet tall, eight feet long, and three feet wide. So it's quite the beast of a ramp. So we'll see how it does on a full speed run up. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'd say that was up there. Man, that was a hard slap. Oh. I'm gonna knock the motor wires loose. Oh, man, kind of stuffed that one on those rocks. Uh, <laughs> see where she took up some soil. Oh, good power loss. Oh, man. <laughs> it looked like it landed right on that rear tower, too. That'd be a test. Man, I don't know if the uh, sound like the motor wire came unplugged off the uh, ramp hit. Whew. Oh, that was brutal. That broke the uh, shot cap screw there. Man, that was wild. <laughs> Look at that, it broke two of them, front and rear. Looks like that's all it did. The uh, tower still looks straight. All right, guys, I'm at this uh, big construction site now. I'm just going to do uh, some ramp pits and just noodle around. Um, what happened on that power loss, I found out, is the motor had actually locked up in midair. I mean, it basically blew the motor. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened, but when it did, it ended up uh, taking some teeth off the spur gear and the pinion gear, and uh, she just completely locked up. So I, I borrowed the electronics or the motor and stuff out of my uh, V4 Creighton since it's running the same uh, center diff fluid that way I wouldn't have to bother uh, changing out just the gear I just I just slapped in the uh, diff it's pretty cool because now I got the uh, v4 uh, motor mount in here as well so all right we're gonna give it a quick rip see how it goes oh and also I'm, I'm still running the m2c uh, front brace and the uh, pillow ball nuts on, on here so so far both are uh, holding up very well all right let's see what's up oh that was rough
Oh. Uh oh, got a steering link popped off. Ah. <laughs> Oh, man, that was rough. <laughs> I landed in those uh, those ruts over there, kind of sideways. I just switched her off. Arm my tough. Yeah, guys, the run up to this ramp is really rough, so it's hard to keep the truck straight. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man, right through the legs. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna go throw the Badlands on it. I just, I'm not getting traction with these guitars. And uh, she's uh, spinning out too fast on the way up to the ramp. All right, now we're Badland equipped. Gives her a little bit wider stance too, which might make her more stable out here. Oh! <laughs> oh, those damn shock screws. That was a flat landing too. Those things plague me. Yep. That seems to be my uh, worst nightmare right now, every bash. All right, let's get that fixed up. Oh, that was a hard one. Well guys, looks like that one uh, took out my ESC wire. I had it latched right here and strapped in. Looks like the straps broke or slid off or something. And uh, it got down in the in the cup or something and I uh, chewed it apart. So it's just one of those days, uh, you know, <laughs> and it happens. But anyway, the tower has done its job. That's what we were set out to do. The truck's taking a pretty hard beating. Uh, I mean, just, you know, just these landings are, are, are really hard on the truck, period, uh, with that ramp. So, but anyway, looks like everything's together except for the wire there so we'll just have to call it short uh, again a big shout out to mitch looper i mean uh, from m2c racing always awesome upgrades and uh all the guys that are doing upgrades you know just bash it custom rc upgrades we really appreciate you know everything you guys do for the rc uh, uh community and a big shout out to arma as well all right guys until next time rc dude 81 peace out